So uh, let's say you've, you've got a well-formed dictionary and you want to share it. There are several options available to you, uh, which we've demonstrated in the past in different videos, uh, um, Webinary, Dictionary App Builder, and Print. Um, there's also a tool that you can use to make a dictionary that is suitable for um, viewing as a, as, a, as a Windows application. It's called Lexic Pro. Um, so I'm going to bring that up. Uh, here's my example of Lexic Pro. OK. This is Lexic Pro. Lexic Pro can read lift files. So you go into Flex and you get your dictionary set the way you want it with the information that you want to have. And then you have, actually, I'll bring it up. Bring up Flex. You tell, this is Flex. You tell Flex, you get the dictionary, text and words, lexicon. Uh, the, the, you have the entries that you want to, to display in your dictionary set up through various filter, filterings. And then you just go to File, Export, and of course, it comes over here. Um, filtered lexicon, and then you click export, and, and that will create the lift file, and it'll bring along any images that you have with your data, which is what you want. Uh, any images, any audio, because this is Windows. Windows can handle um, multimedia, is not print. I'm going to cancel this. I just wanted to show you. It's, it's as simple as that. And then you just go to file, open, and you just find your lift file. This is the, the lift file I exported out of Flex. You click open. And it'll run through the process. And so these are all my entries that I have. You see my entry right now has 287 words. And you can see here, I have, this word has an image. It also has audio. Guy. Guy. All right. So I can go back to home. I can do some configuration. So tools, configure, uh, display. I want the uh, alphabet buttons. Why does it not have the alphabet buttons? Interesting. I am in, in a demonstration mode. A minute ago, when I had this pulled up, I had uh, I had um, alphabet buttons. So I'm, I'm closing it and opening it again. And of course, they're not here now. I don't know why that is. But they were here a minute ago, which is frustrating. Because I wanted to show that you can, demo you can have buttons off to the right and off to the left that help you search. Um, you can search English, like I can search for chicken. And I don't know if and of course, it's finding children. Uh, ah, here's, here's, I did a search for chicken. I was searching in the wrong place. All right. Oh, this is sort, sorry. So I can, I can catalog, I can search um, alphabetized based on the English gloss, alphabetized based on Thai. But then it exists in Lexic Pro. The nice thing about Lexic Pro is it has this tools distribute lexicon option. And this will actually make an executable that is a Windows product, that is a Windows application you can install. And it tells me to, I want to use the lift file, click next, and tells me this is going to have two images, 69 sound files, click next. And this is the information. I can edit this a bit. I'm not going to bother with it now. Information about the, the project. Um, I want to encrypt it, some yes or no, do I want people to print? There may be reasons not to, I don't know. And then click next. And I want to hit the, I'm going to hit cancel button here, but it makes an executable file that you then just install and uh, then you just run. And that will bring up. Uh, where is my file? Oh, here it is. So this is the, the executable I created a while ago. I'm going to close uh, Lexic Pro, the application. This is the, the English file, the dictionary. I click on home, and you can see I have Thai here. And I can then browse. And, and I, can, I can put this file on multimedia. And I can, I can um, put it on, like on a webinary page. People can download it, and they can look at it. 
All right, so that is Lexic Pro.